For now, I want you to think of your nervous system as your body's communication network. It's constantly scanning your environment and sending signals to your brain and body. Am I safe? Can I connect here? Or do I need to protect myself right now? When your nervous system senses threat, it automatically shifts you into survival mode. Those modes include fight, flight, freeze, or appease. These are instinctive patterns your body uses to protect you. And we'll be going deeper into each of them in future episodes, I promise. But for now, just know that this is your body's built-in safety system. Here's why this matters. When that system activates, the emotional center of your brain, also known as the amygdala, it takes over. That's when you might lash out, you might shut down completely, or go into a full-blown panic attack. But practices like the one I'm about to share help your logical brain, your prefrontal cortex right here, stay engaged. And when that part of your brain stays online, you can not only think more clearly, but you can communicate better and actually choose how you want to respond instead of reacting on autopilot. If you've ever noticed how hard it is to just think calm when you're super anxious, this is why. 